All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, first and foremost, I'd give all, all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim of Karkadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name who the world and he calls Jesus Christ. Let it give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who will well taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, but right now I'm residing with the brothers in DC. Okay. And um I'm just come back with another quick lesson, man. And um this lesson is gonna be basically entitled What Do You Desire? Okay. Or, you know, do you desire the kingdom? Okay, one of the one of those two, but something on the lines of something desire. Because today we're we'll getting to that word desire. Okay, and the scriptures actually tell us that if we commit our way into Yahweh Shemuel Shai, you know that you know our desires will come to pass. Okay, all right, you know. So quickly, I just want to get into this. This is um, how straight into the chapter. This is a uh, Psalm chapter thirty-seven. I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, "Trust in Yahweh." Okay, when you see the Lord in all caps, that's the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh in Hebrew. Okay, all right, so trust in Yahweh, all right, which the scriptures always tell us to what? Trust in the Lord. It says, and do good, okay, and what is the doing good? Do, following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, believing on Lord Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, okay, all right, doing what the Lord commanded you doing, being willing and obedient to the will of Yahweh Shai, that's doing good, okay. All right. It says, so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily shalt thou be, be fed. All right. Ultimately, what the Lord was, what? if you trust in the Lord and do well, OK, do his will. All right. He's going to take care of you. OK. All right. All right. Because for, for you to dwell in, in, in a land and to be fed. All right. You, you're having a dwelling place and now you're, you're being fed. All right. You're being taken care of. The Lord's going to take care of you. Okay. All right. It says verse four. It says, "Delight thyself also in the in the Lord Yahweh." Okay. All right. So you gotta delight yourself. You gotta be happy to being a servant unto Yahweh by Shai. Okay. That's why the scripture says, "If ye be willing and obedient, someone who's willing delights in that um, thing that they're doing." Okay. Are right, you gonna be willing and obedient to the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shai? Okay. So this is delight thyself also in Yahweh. And he shall give thee the desires of thy heart, right? the desires of thy heart, which the Hebrew word for heart is love, which means your mind, the desires of your mind. OK. All right. Now, this word desires is very important because when you look it up, let's get it real fast. <clears throat> All right. On Google, there's a desire. It says a strong feeling of wanting to have something it says or wishing for something to happen. OK. All right. It says to wish to want. The fancy to see let's see, get some more uh, de uh synonyms to yearn all right it says uh to ache to hunger to thirst after okay a burning okay you want it really bad okay a determination okay enthusiasm oh yeah this is one of my favorite words right here one of my favorite words look at this word real fast it says what a sense an eager enjoyment or interest or approval. This is a thing that arouses uh, feelings of intense or ego enjoyment. Now, the question I want to say or want to ask Akim and, and myself, do we desire the kingdom of heaven? OK, do we desire the kingdom of heaven? OK, all right. Are we enthusiastic All right. do we have enthusiasm when we to, to the kingdom of heaven okay do we have an intense or eager film of enjoyment interest okay you know it says uh let's see a, a thing that arouses feelings of intense and eager enjoyment eager means wanting to happen quickly okay all right we want the kingdom of heaven to come quickly okay all right scriptures say that what that we believe that what our salvation is nearer than what we believed Okay. All right. That's eager enjoyment of what the kingdom of heaven to come. We wanted to be here now. So the question is, okay. One, do you delight yourself in the Lord? Are you happy serving the Lord? Okay. And this is what it says. And, and he shall give you the desires of that heart. So if you're happy and doing the work of the Lord services of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right. He's going to give you what you desire with the elect of the nation of Israel. They desire the kingdom of heaven. Okay. 
All right. All right. Do you desire the kingdom of heaven? This is a question for me too. Do I earnestly, do we earnestly want the kingdom of heaven? Okay. All right. You know, ask yourself that question, man. And if, if you're like hesitant on that question, hey, amen, you need to check yourself, man. Okay. And that's from me first and then to you brothers, man. Okay. All right. It says what? Verse five. Here's the best part, right? It says commit thy way. All right. Commit. Let's get this word commit real fast. See what this word means. All right. Commit. All right. The word commit in the in the on Google says to carry out uh perpetual uh let's see uh, a mistake or crime. This is commit to pledge or bind a person or organization to a certain thing. Uh let's see, let's get it. Da, 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 da. Let's get the entomon of this entomology of the word commit. Let's see, commit. All right. The verb commit is just the what? The given charge to entrust, to unite, to connect, to combine, to bring together. All right. It says what? Uh with together with together to release, to, to let go, to send, to throw, commit. Um let's see. All right. So to commit means to give charge, to entrust, to unite, to connect, to combine. All right. Now going back, let's go back to this. It says commit thy way. All right. So entrust or bind your way. Okay. All right. You know, attach your ways, your conduct. Okay. Because way goes into your conduct. Okay. So it says what commit or Bind your conduct, okay, you know, unto Yahweh, meaning what? Change your ways. Make sure your conduct lines up with the conduct of, of Yahweh by Shem Shai, okay? All right? How the Lord will want you to uh, to be, okay? You know, it says, trust also in him. Again, we have to trust and believe on Yahweh by Shem Shai. Have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, through, through his only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, we have to trust in them, man. Okay. All right. And he says, what? He says, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Okay. All right. And that's the point. The desires of the elected nation of Israel, what they, what they yearn for that they, what let's, let's go back to the word, the word, uh, uh, desire. All right. Desire a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. OK, the elected nation of Israel is waiting for the, the kingdom of heaven to be established. OK, they're what they have an enthusiasm. OK, an intense or eager enjoyment or interest. All right. When it comes to the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. They have a thing, that thing, the kingdom of heaven, what arouses feelings of intense, eager enjoyment we want the kingdom of heaven to be here man okay you know if you don't want the kingdom of heaven to be here you don't get this this feeling okay that that enjoyment and speaking about the kingdom of heaven there's something wrong with you you are a part of the problem all right just like the two-thirds they don't get excited talking about the kingdom of heaven man okay you know why? Because they don't want the kingdom of heaven. They don't desire it, man. Okay. And they are part of the problem. This is why the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right. But the elect of the nation of Israel, the scripture said that they sigh and cry for all the abominations that be here, man. Okay. So what? They want the kingdom of heaven to be established on earth. When they speak about it, they speak about it fervently, intensely, man. Okay. All right. You know? And it says, what? Commit thy way, meaning changing your ways, connect your ways to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right. Connect, connect your conduct to the Lord. Okay. It says, and trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. What the Lord is bringing, what? The kingdom of heaven to pass, man. All right. We are very, very, very close to what? The kingdom of heaven being set up and the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. All, there's only two main prophecies really about the, uh, this left man all right the rfid chip which is the market that used to be mandatory and in world war three and guess what our lord yahweh shy is about to return man okay so we're closer than when we believed man okay 
you know? All right. Well, we're going to get that scripture and we're going to end it off on that, man. All right. Because Lord said, what our desire is the kingdom of heaven. And we believe that our salvation, all right, of the elect of the nation is the Lord's will be part of that number is closer than when we believed. Okay. All right. Let's get that. I believe it's in Romans. 13 let's see and 11 it says what uh yep Romans 13 11 and that knowing the time knowing what time that we're living in okay the end days the end the last of the end days okay the last seconds that now it is high time which means high time means the most important time okay to awake out of sleep what is you waking out of sleep you not knowing that you're Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and Israelite foreigners who look like the other heathen nations, okay? It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, okay? And we believe it to be close, man, okay? When we speak about the kingdom of heaven, we believe it to be close, man. We know it's going to happen in this generation, man, okay? You know, it's nearer than what we believe, man, that eager enjoyment of speaking about the kingdom of heaven. We want it now. OK, and with the elect of the nation of Israel, the Lord said he's going to bring what the desires. If you commit your way, okay, connect your mind. All right. Spirit and body to the will of you. How about shy? Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust and trust in him. OK, guess what? He's going to bring your desires to pass. And we desire to the kingdom of heaven. Lord as well. We'll be a part of the elect. Man. OK. All right. And it's closer than we, we believe. So we have that eager, intense feeling, man. OK. That is close, you know, <laughs> we're enthusiastic when we speak about the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. All right. So with that, you know, I hope uh, you can were edified. This being part of Yahweh Shemal Shai, ask yourself that question. Do you desire the kingdom of heaven? Okay. All right. So with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly fathers and the begotten son. Yeah. How will Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shim, Karkadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well and taught me the truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there to the full corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, say shalom and a Baba Ball.